Hi guys, it's still Mr. Richard on trigonometry, but uh, in this video we are looking at trigonometric value represented by letters. So in this type of question, always use a diagram. Yes, always use a diagram. Then uh, also it's important to use the theorem of Pythagoras and then use reduction formulas. Also, consider the negative angles and core function. And lastly, Write all angles in terms of 72. If you're given 72, if you're given blah, 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 it depends on where, what, what they are looking for. So first thing, let's, 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 let's work out with the diagram. So we are given a cos 72 there, 72 degrees, right? So as K, so this is the same as K all over 1. We know that... Uh, it's the same as uh, uh, adjacent all over hypotenuse. So let me represent this in a diagram. So we are going to use a first quadrant because 72 is here at the first quadrant. So we are going to have this diagram here. Place an angle, which is 72 degrees. Then let me construct. We're going to have 90 degrees. This is a right triangle, right? It's a form of a right triangle here. So what is our hypotenuse? Our hypotenuse is 1. Then if you're standing here, your opposite is here. So your opposite, we don't know which is why, isn't it? But your adjacent side, remember, where there's a vertex part here, there will be an adjacent side, which is, will be our K. So we are going to use a theorem of Pythagoras. X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared. So what is our um, X squared here? It's K. So it's going to, what is our Y? We don't know why we are looking for. A missing value what is r r it's, it's one so it will be one squared so let's transpose one squared it's one transpose k becomes negative k squared what is the value when we when we root both sides what is the, what is y squared it's y what is a uh, root of one minus k squared it's a root of one minus k squared so in this case we are going to take the one that is positive because we're working on the on the first quadrant where all the trigonometric ratios are positive then, uh, yes, we have done with, we have used the theorem of Pythagoras to calculate the missing value. So let's see. We are given sine 258 there. I mean, sine 252, not 58. Sorry for that. Sine 252. So when we reduce this, when you say 252 minus 180, it gives you 72. So it's the same as sine 180 uh, plus 72. Yes. Sine 180 degrees plus 72 gives you 252. How is sine at that quadrant? It's not a home for sine. So it, it will be negative sine 72. So in terms of ratios, we are going to have negative uh, y all over r. What is our y? Our y with it got uh, one root 1 minus k squared. So in this case, we are going to have root 1 minus k squared because our r is 1. When we divide this by 1, we're still going to get the same thing. So we are left with root one, my, 1 minus k squared, negative root 1 minus k squared. So at B, we are given a uh, sine 18. So for sine 18, uh, we have to reduce this. Uh, sine 18, is, uh, <laughs> how can it give you 72? Well, this is quite tedious, but uh, it's not. Remember I told you that you can use co-functions. Just say 90 minus 72. When you say 90 minus 72, it gives you 18. So in this case, you're going to say sine 90 minus 72 which will give you 18 so yes if you go back to, to check that it, it's correct it is correct so which quadrant is this this is the first quadrant this is where sine is positive okay so remember it's a core function it will change so it will change to cos so we are going to have cos 72 uh, we were given cos 72 there upward we're given cos 72 as k then you just place k here then you are done. Then let's work out tan 72. Already we have all the trigonometric ratio. For tan, it's y all over x, which is uh, opposite all over hypotenuse. So what, is, what was our y? Our y we did calculate it. It, it was root 1 minus k squared. What was, our, what, what was our x? Our x was given as k. So that's the, 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 the solutions. So that's how you represent values, trigonometric values represented by letters so that's how you represent it guys in an exam hope you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe and like we love you